hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the JDBC batch updates so let's go through the slide uh, in terms of batch update we'll see uh, there are four scenarios like how we can execute batch updates using a statement JDBC statement how we can perform batch update using prepare statement and call level statement and finally we'll see batch updates when we handle the transaction now first of all what is batch update a batch update is a batch of updates groups together and sent to the database in one batch or one go rather than sending the updates one by one to the database engine uh, sending a batch updates uh, to a database in one go is faster than sending them one by one waiting for uh, each one to finish there is a less network traffic involved in the sending one batch of the updates uh, and the database might be able to execute some of the uh, updates in parallel the this speeds up uh, compared to executing the uh, update one by one so this process basically improves performance of your application just you are trying to reduce the number of heat on heat to the database that's the batch update uh, you can uh, you can batch sql inserts updates deletes it does not make sense to batch select operations right so basically if you want to make some changes on the database side then batch updates comes into the picture so select operation that would want to be the part of the uh, batch update now there are three ways to execute batch updates so first using a statement then prepare a statement and finally we have a callable statements so let's see how we can perform batch updates using jdbc statement uh, you can use a statement object to execute batch updates you do show using uh, the add batch and execute batch methods uh, and here i have given a code snippet so here in uh, first of all we have declared a statement and we are creating a statement now inside the try by call uh, by calling the create a statement method on connection object now once you get the statement then a statement has a method is called add batch and here you can uh, pass any sql parameter sql query like here i am passing a update query and just i am update, updating the, the name of the employee based on the whose employee id again second update query again i have added by calling the add batch and again third time i have added update query by calling the add batch but in when you try to execute batch right uh, when using a statement then you can have opportunity to pass different type of query like uh, you can pass the update query you can pass the insert query when you can pass the delete query as well right and finally one once you are done with the adding the all batch batch then finally you call uh, execute batch on a statement object right and this returns you the array of integer right so and finally in finally block you close the connection but if you use try with resources then you don't need to explicitly close the connection in finally block right so let's brief it what course in epet says so first of all uh, we added the sql statements to be executed in the batch uh, using the add batch method uh, then uh, we execute the sql statements using the execute batch uh, the integer array return by the execute batch method method uh, is an array of in telling how many records were affected by each executed sql statements in the batch so if uh, first batch is getting executed then one will be returned to the index first uh, if second statement is not executed successfully then this is going to return you zero something like success for success is it is going to return one and for failure it's going to return zero now uh, prepare a statement batch update you can also use a prepare statement object to execute by batch update the prepare statement enables you to reuse the same sql statement and just insert a new parameter into it for each 
update to execute here I have given a uh, one code snippet so you can see in this code snippet is very similar to the uh, previous except when you uh, execute if when you uh, add multiple batch uh, in terms of prepare statement then you have a only single query right so here we have an update query update employee table and we are just setting the first and last name for the employee id so we have a three placeholder and while creating the prepare statement we are passing this sql query right uh, on the connection object we get the prepare statement object and we are setting three values in first index first name we are setting for second index we are setting last name and for third index we are setting employee id so and after that we are calling add batch so one batch will be added similarly we are setting value for all three placeholders and we are calling the add batch so second batch will be added and finally uh, how many batch you want to wants to add you want to add you can add after that finally you have will have to call execute method on prepare statement and this returns you the uh, array of integer and finally in finally block we are closing the prepare statement right if you are using try with resources then this finally block is not needed or at all right so let's brief uh, brief out whatever uh, we have discussed in this code snippet so first of all we prepared a uh, we, uh, we we created a prepare statement uh, from a sql statement uh, in this line right uh, with a, a question mark right to show where the parameter values to be inserted into the sql now second thing each set of parameter values are inserted into the prepare statement and add batch method is called right uh, this adds the parameter values to the batch internally you can you can now add another set of values to be inserted into the sql statement each set of parameters are inserted into the sql and executed separately once the full batch is sent to the database then third thing what that happen the uh, execute batch method is called which executes all the batch updates the sql statements plus the uh, parameters sets are sent to the database in one go the array of integer written by the execute batch method is an array of int telling how many records were affected by each executed sql statements in the batch right now callable statements also you can use callable statement also to perform batch update and this works very similar to the prepare statement now uh, when you have a batch update uh, with the transaction then why we required a uh, transactions with batch update so let's discuss it is important to keep in mind uh, that each update added to the statement or prepare statement is executed separately Separately by the database, right? So in JDBC, uh, once you uh, execute any SQL query, then by default uh, auto commit is true. So immediately that's getting committed to the database. That means if you if if some of them may succeed before one of them fails, all the statements that have succeeded are now committed to the database but the rest of the updates may not be this can result in a in an inconsistent data in the database to avoid this you can execute the batch update inside a transaction when executed inside a transaction you can make sure that either all updates are executed or none are any successful updates can be rolled back in case one of uh, update gets failed so uh, if you want to execute a batch uh, uh, within the transaction then if all batch gets executed successfully then you would like to commit the transaction else we can roll back the entire batch itself so that's the thing so uh, next video we are going to look how to manage the transaction in JDBC so there you, you would be very much clear about this point now that's all i have in this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed learning 
uh, this video so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial